Welcome to Play On Podcast. I'm Rob Thompson, your host, and that's Kyle O'Malley over there, Executive Program Director with the San Diego Miracle League. Thanks for having me. Rob. Let's talk about the Miracle League of San Diego and exactly what do you guys do there? Miracle League of San Diego is a uh, nonprofit organized baseball league for individuals with special needs. Uh, it's been around since about 2006 and it's a unique outlet for a lot of families and the individuals within those families who would love to play a sport, um, have some sort of physical activity in their lives that they may otherwise not be able to uh, to have in a safe environment based on um, whatever their diagnosis is. And um, so we try and just uh, have as much of an impact in a positive way as we can um, as an outlet for them. Talk about your history there. Uh, you started off there volunteering when you were in high school, right, with your ba- yeah. high school baseball team and your coach pushing you guys to kind of go volunteer. And, and what was that experience like? Definitely. Uh, yeah, back in high school, you know, we kind of – coach made us do it kind of thing. We said, okay, we'll, we'll do it because we have to. Um, but after, you know, even the first – week being out there on the field i'll never forget it like meeting meeting the players that we got to work with um and just seeing you know how much joy being out there brought to them uh it didn't become a we have to do it because coach is telling us to do it we all really wanted to do it and it became uh you know an outlet for us also just kind of taking a step back and You know, we're playing competitive baseball our whole lives, kind of probably taking things for granted from time to time and then being able to go out there and help them play. uh, It just became uh, something that was very special and important to us and me personally. And uh, I kept kept doing it through the rest of high school, even after that initial season where where he kind of uh, forced us into it because of how uh, how special and uh, impactful it was on my life being around all of those players. So you had a you had a pretty good career, you know, once you left high school and went through college and and on the basketball side, you know, and in some of the positions you had in high school, San Diego, and then with the the Warriors and with the Sixers and and uh with the Pac twelve conference. I mean, it was that that's a lot of experience packed <laughs> in to a to your beginning of your career and um, talk about that a little bit. What what foundation was laid during that time um, of your life? Yeah, like you said, uh, all of those experiences was kind of a, a whirlwind. You know, I never, I might have always wanted to maybe work in sports in some capacity or or with a pro team or a college team, um, but very few times does that actually happen, uh, and I think. You know, one of the things that really kind of helped that was just, um, you know, my parents were always like, you know, if there's something you want to do, go try and get it. Uh, it doesn't always work out the way we plan it. But, um, you know, I got to San Diego State. I sent Coach Fisher an email and said, hey, is there anything I can do to help the team while I'm here um, once I stop playing baseball? And, you know, They got back to me, took me under their wings, and um, I had an absolute blast. It was one of the best things I've ever done, Um, you know, as part of my college experience was being around him uh, and the other coaches and the players, and uh, it became like a second family. And, yeah, it was just – you know, that, that really laid the foundation for everything that have all the other uh, experiences you just listed after that, you know, the Sixers, I did that between my junior and senior year, which that probably would have not happened had the foundation not been laid with the, with the SDSU team. And then um, the Warriors after that in the Pac-12, it kind of just all, all streamlined from there. Them giving me the chance at San Diego State kind of laid the foundation and confidence for me to, you know, try and pursue these other 
maybe higher uh, pro sports endeavors. Um, Turn back to San Diego, your hometown, and um, you had an opportunity to go back to work for where it all began, right? And yeah. we're, we're, what, what was your reaction from the families and the athletes when they saw you walking back on the field after all these years? The crazy thing is that a lot of our families and players that were playing when I, when I was volunteering uh, back in high school and even a little bit into college, a lot of them are still there, which is amazing. Um, and so, you know, I come back after these years and they're, uh, a lot of them still remembered me and were thrilled uh, to have me back, kind of running the show, so to speak. And, um, you know, I don't know that anybody, including myself, thought that this is where I would be right now, given the other things that I did in the past. And, you know, I always thought maybe that was the trajectory I was going to stay in. And it's actually a pretty funny story how it played out this way that I ended up uh, as program director. But uh, they, they're, they've all been thrilled. They've all been super grateful that I'm back. I've been through the moon happy, um, you know, helping. Volunteering is one way to, to impact them, working with the players. But, um, you know, it's a big responsibility as director as well because everything kind of runs through me. <laughs> I'm the only employee, quote unquote. You know, our board of directors helps immensely and all of that. But I wouldn't have it any other way. All right. So just talk about the program a little bit, your your day-to-day -day roles. Um, I, you have two facilities uh, in San Diego, um, what's it, what's it like as far as fundraising, you know, and the impact that it has on, on the kids and families in that community? So day to day, I, I do a little bit of everything. Um, whether it's marketing, you know, sending emails out to all of our families, just keeping them in the loop, especially right now during this crazy time, I've been trying to use that as a, a main way to, you know, stay in contact with them and make sure that they know we're thinking about them. I send different virtual and en like enrichment activities that they can keep doing right now to stay busy. Um, fundraising, obviously, as a 501c3 nonprofit uh, is a massive piece of everything that we're able to do. You know, if we don't have the funding to, uh, you know, keep the fields in great shape, buy new equipment, um, new umbrellas when needed, a scoreboard that we just put in down at our second field at Bell. Um, you know, without funding from uh, different sources, grants, um, businesses, sponsors, uh, you know, we wouldn't be where we are. Uh, and so that that's definitely a huge piece. And then, of course, you know, when the season is actually going on um you know i'm setting up registration for all of our players coaches buddies everyone through play on um so so you you, you talked about um obviously you wear many hats um having a great software uh, scheduling um and a communication software is essential especially if you're a one-man show uh, yeah talk about talk about how does play on add value parent overall user experience and how is that integrated into your overall operations with the league? So one of, uh, one of the big things when I took over that I realized play, uh, that play on had, um, is being able to send, you know, mass emails out to all of our parents at once. You know, when I took over, we were also, we were paying basically a separate uh, entity for uh, a means to like send these mass emails out. And once I realized that when I took over, you know, it was like a, why keep spending the extra money? We have everything streamlined through one platform uh, via play on. So that was, uh, that was an immense help also a cost savings. And uh, you know, the registration portal itself is extremely easy for all of our parents. I haven't had too many, too many people uh, having a difficulty with it. A lot of different options that they, that they allow for. Uh, and that, that makes it 
really, uh, really easy for, for everyone, including myself, uh, to, to help everyone out with registration. You know, I can walk through it if I need to with them, but most of the time, uh, everyone's just very well versed. And there's also, you know, you can follow teams on there. Uh, you know, any of our teams, there's different schedules that they can, you know, e either the parents can, uh, you know, highlight something on a calendar in there, or um, I can have play on, you know, go in and set something and it'll kind of remind everyone uh, through that, through that channel as well. So it's very streamlined and uh, easy to use for all of our families, which I think they're very appreciative. And so am I, because that's a, a few less questions and uh, different things that I have to deal with. Sally Ann and team do a great job over there, that's for sure. So let's talk about inspiring stories. I know you mentioned when you came back and you had a couple families and athletes that did remember you. Do you have a mom pull out an old picture from when you were in high school and show you that? Yeah. Uh, yeah with, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I've had I've had a few, actually. Uh, that one definitely, definitely stood out. Um, it was actually the first player... Uh, one of the first players that I was a buddy for, Bailey Townsend. And, uh, you know, he still plays in the league. His parents, you know, came up and gave me a hug the first day they saw me. They'd still do it, uh, you know, before social distancing and all of that, of course. Um, and she she goes into her phone and has a few photos from back in high school when I look completely different than I do now, and so does he. And we're kind of just sitting there in the dugout, you know, looking out onto the field because our team was probably up to bat. And, uh, you know, big smiles on both of our faces, just talking about whatever. I think my arm was around his shoulder or something. And, uh, yeah, that was that was really cool to see, you know, how it just goes to show me how important and meaningful it is to the parents also uh, and not just the players because they're – their lives, their the parents' lives are, you know, they're going a mile a minute. Most parents are, but it's in a whole different realm um, when you have a son or a daughter uh, with special needs because they have, you know, there's extra activities and things that they have to do every day that other families may not need to, like different therapy sessions and, uh, you know, exercises, things like this. So when they get to go out on the field uh, and watch their son or daughter and just sit back for an hour and kind of, you know, soak it all in and just it goes to show how appreciative they are and, and um, how meaningful it is to them as much as it is to the players. You know, I, I do ask about inspiration, who inspires you, but you're surrounded by parents and athletes that I'm sure this just inspire you every day you know, and what they do. Absolutely. There's, uh, there's days for sure when I, uh, you know, think I'm trying to bite off more than I can chew and then just kind of think about what they go through every single day that, um, most of us don't have to, and hopefully, you know, won't have to. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, just how positive they always are about everything. And yeah, it's, it's a lot, you know, I, we just talked about how many hats, how many different hats I might wear in my position. I don't even think any of those can compare to, you know, all the different variety of, of things that they, that they go through on a day to day basis um, with their families. I think we all get involved in this industry at one point. I know I certainly did, Kyle, because making an impact in kids and families' lives, you know, when you kind of look at the other things that you've had an opportunity to do, whether it was the NBA, the NFL, college, a conference, you know, when you're at the at the place where the rubber meets the road, so to speak, and it's you and it's the efforts and the attitude that you do every day that leaves these families and these athletes with just an immense experience that changes their lives and adds, like you said, so much tremendous value where they could just sit in the stands. And you said this before, they could sit in the stands for an hour and just forget about life for a little while and just 
enjoy their sons and daughters playing a sport. Um, what does that mean to you when you're watching them and the joy that those families and those parents have just watching their kids being able to be out there and competing? It's, um, it's hard to describe because you like, it's not even something you can see as much as you can just feel that um, happiness and energy from, from all the parents, even more so sometimes than their son or daughter who's out there on the field with tons of excitement. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's an amazing thing to witness. And, you know, when the season's going on, we get to witness it every Saturday and yeah, the parents, you, you can truly tell, you know, how important it is to them and how grateful and thankful they are um, that there is this outlet for their son or daughter or multiple children that they have in their family who may have something. Um, and yeah, they get, they get to go back to, um, you know, being a parent cheering on their child or children uh, just like anybody else would at a sporting event at their ages, you know, Little League or Pop Warner, or, you know, whatever it might be, uh, dance competition, all of those things. And yeah, you can you can tell um, and feel just the the uh, the happiness and energy that it brings to them every Saturday. Well, I know you bring that whole community in San Diego and those families and athletes, a bunch of happiness. And I'm, I'm sure they're glad that you came back, you know, and now you have all kinds of photos from <laughs> when you had long hair to short hair and yep. uh, in, between. in between. Yeah. And what you're doing in that community. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed and it certainly didn't go unnoticed with, with Sally Ann and her team at play on. So congratulations, all you do. Thanks for spending time with us. Thank you so much, Rob, and everyone at Play On. We really appreciate it. On behalf of Kyle, and this is Rob and Sally M back over there in San Francisco. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.